Hi, I'm Nick. And I'm Dion. And we work for East Bay Municipal Utility District. We're here today to show you some tips and tricks that are going to help you to pass the plumber entrance exam. The plumber field test consists of five stations, lifting and carrying cement bags and a mechanical split tee, maneuvering a pavement breaker, assembling equipment, lifting and carrying meter boxes, and a shoveling station where you will shovel sand. Using proper lifting technique, such as bending your knees and using your core is important. Making sure you keep your back straight, keeping objects or equipment close to your chest and bending your knees will keep your back from sustaining the injury. We're going to properly assemble a flange. This is a flange, this is a gasket, and these are all the bolts and nuts that we're gonna use. When assembling a flange, the proper technique is to make sure that you insert all the bolts first before tightening any nuts on. What this does is it enables you to maneuver the flange to line your holes up properly. If you tighten one of the bolts down off the bat, when you try to put the other bolts in, you may not be able to get them in easily. Grab the wrenches by the end of the wrench. And remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey doesn't matter how strong you are, if you're going the wrong direction, they will not break loose. One of the most common mistakes we see is people not using their proper leverage. When you have your wrenches too far away from your body, you have no leverage. Here's an alternative method is flip the flange on its side, use your backup wrench, which is the wrench that holds the nut from spinning, and place it against the table and then use leverage, use your body, use whatever body weight you have as leverage to break the bolts loose. So you will be asked to take apart a regulator assembly. We're gonna ask you to remove the coupling from the regulator unit. In order to do that, you're gonna have to understand the basic idea of how to use two pipe wrenches at the same time. You want the the bottom of the wrench to be on top in this direction. That's how it's designed to grip. This is the regulator assembly. All that entails is loosening the coupling and removing the gasket and then putting it back. Um, when adjusting pipe wrenches, it's important to remember which direction you're going to want to set the pipe wrenches up. The teeth on the bottom generally go on top and the open mouth is going to face towards the direction you want to turn. When shoveling, remember not to turn your core or your abdomen too much. Turn your feet towards the destination. Working too fast may have you spill material. One of the most important aspects of shoveling is being efficient as possible. So remember to fill your shovel no matter what technique you decide to use. Good, Good luck. luck. Yeah. <laughs> 